Hey everyone, it's Amy Old Book New Look. Um, today is Thursday, March 1st, 2012. And I'm making my week 3 video for uh, the Losing It Challenge. And I'm going to get right into things. Um, last, week's weight, last week's weight was 180.9 pounds. Uh, this week I weighed in at 180.4 pounds, uh, so that was a 0.5 pound loss for the week. And if I have to be honest, um, which I do <laughs> with myself, uh, then I need to say that I know, I pretty much know why it was only a 0.5 pound loss for the week, and I'm actually... Uh, feeling pretty grateful that I even had that much so um, like I mentioned in the last video just making bad food choices but I'm moving on um, what am I proud of this week um, actually I'm just picking a thing that I feel most proud of uh, most recently and that is today we had a snowstorm and we got a lot of snow and normally I I hate the snow honestly I absolutely hate it or I've always hated it or yeah I've hated it for a while um, but today my daughter wanted to go out and play outside and normally in years past what I would do is I would take her outside and I would just watch her play well, today I went outside and I played with her in the snow. Um, we got out and she, one of her friends was outside so she did go and play with her friend for a little bit and I went out and I shoveled uh, for 35 minutes. I just started shoveling all the walkways and up to my, my next door neighbor's doors and um, I just decided that I wanted to and I didn't have to because we have people that come around and shovel it for us in the the complex that we live in um, it's all taken care of it's part of our rent so I didn't have to but I just felt like doing it um, so and I kind of oddly had fun doing it and then when I was done shoveling I went and got my daughter and um, I, she has a like a sleigh, a wooden sleigh that my mother had gotten her when she was little, and she hopped in the sleigh and I pulled her around our neighborhood. I went about around the block twice, um, and the second time around, I I ran. Uh, she it was it was cool. She was like, "Mommy, go faster, go faster!" So I did, and um, it was a lot of fun. Uh, and it was weird because I'm running and of course it's slippery the snows up to like my calves and it's slippery but I could totally handle it and the whole time I'm thinking to myself I can't believe that I can actually do this it's pretty awesome so that's what I'm proud of this week um, I went out and I had fun in the snow who is this person? <laughs> I don't know. But I like it. It's good. You know? I don't know. Anyway, moving on. Um, what needs improvement this week? I still feel like my food choices need improvement. Um, something's still just off. I'm finding myself eating things that honestly... After I've eaten them, I'm like, oh, yeah, that really wasn't what I wanted. And there are other things I could have eaten that would have been a better choice. And so I'm still working on that. I definitely, it's definitely better than it was last week. I'm definitely making better choices. Um, it's just something's still not right, and I'm trying to hone in on that. Anyway, uh, 
into my evaluation. How did journaling food go this week? It went well. Um, journaled everything. Still not happy with the choices and what's going on with how my day is looking. Um, Got to work on that. Water is great. I really, honestly, at this point in my journey, I have no trouble getting my water in. There's no reason that I shouldn't get my water in because, honestly, I can chug water now. Um, I'd say I started being able to do that around maybe five months. Uh, if I wanted to, I could chug water. I don't, I don't chug it. I take my time with it, but, um, there's no reason that I can't get, uh, 64 ounces of fluid in every day. And I normally exceed that by an extra 32 at least, um, if not double it. So that's going great. Uh, exercise is going well. Honestly, I'm kind of um, in withdrawal mode because I haven't had Zumba in like two weeks. Um, my favorite Zumba instructor, like I take all her classes, <laughs> she has a foot injury and so she's been at, laid up for two weeks. And we haven't had classes. I've taken a couple of the subclasses, but honestly, I mean, they're good. But I just really love this specific Zumba instructor. Her classes, I can really, really get really intense workouts in her classes, and I just love it. I love the music she does. Um, I love her choreography. I just, I need her back. <laughs> I don't know. But, I mean, the exercise has been going well. I'm still exercising every day. Um, I'm getting all my exercise and I'm doing a lot of the treadmill and to to um, kind of switch things up because I was getting bored of the treadmill I started doing the elliptical again which I'm actually really liking but it's not the same as dancing it's not the same uh, it's not as fun it's not as well I mean it's fun I don't know it's just different it's like uh, something comes out of me like I don't know I'm not gonna get into that okay anyway da -la 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 -la. protein much better this week I got 60 grams of protein at least 60 grams of protein every day this week so that is good um, mini goals week one mini goal one outdoor run every week all set going great uh, my first 5k is this Sunday Ooh. okay Week two mini goal, uh, do something fun for myself every day. That's been going great as well. Um, still doing the guitar. I'm doing a lot more reading. Um, what else have I done? That's been different. Oh, I've been checking out some new music, um, which I think I'm gonna make another video on can't get into that right now this video is gonna to be too long uh, week three mini goal 60 grams of protein every day went very well this week my week four mini goal is going to be um, I'm speaking of Zumba I'm taking a Zumba instructor course in almost a little over a week okay so I want to be able to start building up a repertoire of what like routines and stuff I'm gonna use so I want to work on um, doing that. And so my week four mini goal is to uh, choreograph two new Zumba routines per week um, for the remainder of the challenge. So that I'll be able to build up my repertoire, but also um, it's going to be something fun and physically active that I can do for myself. Um, and so it'll, it'll probably help in my weight loss goals because it's going to be extra activity. Um, so yeah, that's my week before mini goal. Just for fun challenge thing um, was to write a love letter to myself. Uh, I did it. I, I didn't watch any of the videos that anyone else has posted yet. And I haven't watched... I know Becca posted on Facebook her... A love letter that she wrote to herself but I didn't watch it and that's only because 
I wanted to write my letter before watching anyone else's because I didn't want what other people said about themselves to influence what I, um, what, what would naturally come out of, out of me for what, um, my thoughts were, uh, for this project. So I don't know, like reading this back to myself, it kind of sounds, it sounds strange. First of all, because I'm writing a letter to myself and it, it just sounds weird, but I don't know. It, I think it, I, I used, a, I used a lot of metaphors in here and I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to read it. Dear Amy, we've been through a lot in these past 30 years. It's hard to believe that so much has changed in the last seven months. You truly are a different person and I am proud of who you are and what you are becoming. I love your new confidence, your positive attitude, your strong determination. I love your willingness to try new things. It is so good to see you enjoying life and having fun again. Every time I see you do something you never thought you'd do, it makes me want to scream in victory. Yes, this is you. This is life. This is living. I remember what it was like before. We need to always remember. Looking back on it now, it's like you were living in a stupor over the past 10 or so years. Like you were asleep all that time, watching your life pass by as if you were dreaming. Knowing you wanted things to be different, but not seeing how to make the changes. I know you, I know you didn't want to lose hope or give up, but you were scared that it was too late deep down you were scared that it was too late that you were in too deep and there was no climbing out I know you were miserable because worst of all you knew you had done it all to yourself and that's what really hurt the most but somehow you found a way out somehow you heard that voice inside that said no this is not all there is for you You trusted in that and you found a way out of the hole you had buried yourself in. Now I know that you have a... Now I know that you feel a mixture of emotions. You feel elated in knowing that you're out of the hole. You're above ground now, where you can finally feel the sun on your face, the wind in your hair, and you feel alive. But there's also a part of you that realizes that although you're out of the hole and facing the world in front of you, that the hole is still just behind you. Your heels are just along the edge and you could fall back in. Please don't look behind you. Stay focused on all that's ahead of you. There is so much more waiting for you. All you have to do is step forward. That is my wish for you that you remember what's behind you, but stay focused on what's ahead of you. And one step at a time, you always keep moving forward. I can't wait to see what the next five years has in store for us. Love, Amy. <laughs> so that's it. Um, I will check in after my 5K to let you guys know how it went. Uh, thank you, Becca. And I hope we all have a great week and I'll talk to you soon.